I work for a company, NIT. My company just hired Lisa, and Jarvis, and Priya, and Nathan. Hello. And Fern. They all work in different departments and cities, but they all need the same thing from me. A computer help. A computer for work with all of their apps and settings. So I do that with Kanji. Kanji makes it simple for me to manage every Apple device my team needs. When they turn on their new computers, Kanji automatically installs all the apps they need, and no weird ones. Uh. Hi, I'm in finance, so I don't need the same apps and settings as Lisa. I know, Fern. That's why I have your device assigned to a different blueprint than Lisa's. Cool. Sub question: What is a blueprint? A blueprint allows me to easily assign the right apps, security controls, and automations to each device, based on team, department, or location. Nice. It's all enabled by a library of hundreds of pre-built automations and apps, along with some custom apps and scripts only my company needs. A lot of things that I would normally spend a lot of time on, like escrow file vault recovery keys, I just have Kanji do automatically. Whoa! I feel like if I knew what that was, that's what I'd say. I can also implement specific compliance mandates like CIS or FedRAMP, like this. but sometimes I don't have to get involved at all. Kanji lets my users download what they need when they need it, without asking me. I need to download Zoom, so I do that. And with Kanji's auto apps, when an app like Zoom releases an update, Kanji automatically patches it for everyone. <laughs> but I don't have to let everything update automatically. If a new Mac OS is released, I can just roll it out when I'm ready for everyone to have it. What if I changed something I wasn't supposed to? It's okay. Kanji saw that and automatically remediated it. Ah! Kanji fixed it. Ah, dope. Maybe you don't keep doing it. Yeah. Now, I just need to be able to do all of that. Times a thousand. So I do that. With Kanji. On behalf of everyone at Kanji, I'd like to welcome you, our customers, friends, and fellow admins to this event today. We're excited to show you a new feature that's coming to Kanji very soon. Take a moment to imagine a day of first. The first day at a new job, the first time opening the box of a brand new Mac, the first time lifting the lid and hearing that distinctive Apple chime, the first time experiencing an elegant modern way to set up a new Mac. How would it feel to see a freshly unboxed Mac automatically transform into an enterprise-ready computer with all the right settings, apps, and security controls, and get it right on the first try? Our event today is entirely focused on the initial experience that a user goes through when they first set up their Mac. When a computer is first enrolled into Kanji, a number of important settings are delivered, apps are installed, and security controls are configured. We wanted to provide a great experience for the end user and share information about everything that happens immediately after enrollment so that they would know when their computer is ready to use. We also wanted to provide a great experience for the admin, automate as much as possible, to ensure that the device was fully configured and all the required settings, apps, and security controls were in place before use to increase confidence and reduce help desk tickets. We heard from customers that what they really wanted was a completely integrated approach that adapted automatically to changes in the collection of settings, apps, and security controls for that device, and presented all of that information in a beautiful native interface. Ultimately, we wanted the first experience of getting started with a Mac managed with Kanji to match the kind of experience that you want to provide your employees as they get started at your organization, that one of their first experiences at the organization and maybe their very first experience with the IT team was something special. We think we've done that. We're pleased to introduce today an elegant, modern way to set up a new Mac. Here to tell you more and take you through that experience firsthand is my colleague, Eric. Thanks, Weldon. I'm gonna take you through the user experience of Kanji Liftoff. 
And from there, we can see how it's actually built. Let me set the stage. Right here is my admin Mac. We're gonna come back to this Mac in a minute to see what the Kanji web app looks like to configure liftoff. This is my Mac. I'm a new user. Imagine I am a new employee at AccuHive. They shipped me the box. I'm gonna open it up. Uh, because I'm opening it up, I get that new Mac user experience. I'm gonna take a little bit more care of this. Uh, I'm gonna carefully take the packaging off. Put this back, put this box back. I'm gonna need to send it back to the company eventually, so I'll keep the box around. I'm gonna stick a sticker on my Mac to personalize it. This is, uh, this is BMO from Adventure Time, just a, a fun, little, fun little sticker. Uh, now, when I turn the Mac, when I open the Mac, uh, it's going to uh, turn on. I see the language screen, choose English. I'm gonna join Wi-Fi. Uh, you can join any Wi-Fi uh, that's available. So I'm going to select a Wi-Fi network and enter in the password. So at this point, the Mac is contacting Apple's activation servers to see, is this Mac enrolled with Apple Business Manager or Apple School Manager? And it is. That's why I see the remote management screen, because Apple Business Manager has assigned this Mac to Kanji and click continue. I see some information about enrollment profiles being received and installed. I see the create a computer account screen. I'm going to create an account for myself. My name's Eric. I'll create an account called Eric. I'm going to continue. Now for the demo, uh, just to keep things simple. We're not gonna require the user to enter in a company username and password, uh, but Kanji fully integrates with the SSO portion of automated device enrollment. The setup assistant is going to finish, and I'm gonna see a beautiful animation of a queen bee. It's gonna take over right away in full screen mode, and I see setting up your Mac. I see a list of custom scripts, custom printers, auto apps that have been assigned to this blueprint that this Mac is in. This is great. This is beautiful. This is all the things that are being installed. Down in the lower left, there's a question mark. I'm gonna click that. That brings up more information, a welcome to your Mac screen, uh, a little bit more information for the user on their first day about what's going on right now. This Mac is being configured with security policies and apps, and there's a phone number for more help. Down at the bottom, there's a progress bar showing me what's happening at this moment. In this case, Adam is downloading. I'm gonna click back. So at a glance, I see the things that have been completed, the things that are downloading or installing right now, and the things that are pending. All right, and now that everything has been set up, this is where I know my IT department really has my back. At this window, I see the next steps. There's a link to self-service where I can add additional apps that weren't required. I see a link to the getting started web resource from Apple. And I see a link to a website for onboarding my first day at AccuHive. Wouldn't you like to provide this to your employees on the first day? Now I'm gonna show you what this looks like in the Kanji web app. So I'm gonna to switch to my admin Mac. When we asked event participants to describe the onboarding experience for the Mac for the first day, Seven out of 10 of you replied with some negative word like tedious, confusing, or inconsistent. 
liftoff makes it easy for you to provide the perfect first impression. All right, here's my Kanji web app for AccuHive. Here's the blueprint that I'm using. I'm gonna select the liftoff library item right here. A quick overview of what's in the liftoff library item, and then I'll go back and give more detail about each one. Uh, but right up here, I can see that I'm, I can assign this, I'm gonna click edit. I can assign this liftoff library item to as many blueprints as I want. Uh, in this case, I'm just gonna stick with the demo blueprint that we're using. Some general custom icons. Uh, I can customize the install screen, the help screen, and the complete screen. And that's it. Liftoff doesn't change what's installed on a Mac. Liftoff just shows what is being installed and configured on that Mac. If you wanna change what's installed and, and configured on a Mac, then you're gonna change the blueprint. The blueprint is just a collection of all of the scripts, all of the parameters, all of the apps that you wanna install. If there's a device that doesn't follow the blueprint, either the Kanji agent is going to remediate that and make it follow the blueprint, or you'll get an alert. All right, so more details in the, in the liftoff library item here. Uh, so for the enrollment trigger, by default, liftoff works with all enrollment types. Uh, but if you want, you can set it to only work with automated device enrollment, like I just demonstrated, or manual enrollment. But by default, it works with both. I've already uploaded my custom icon. You can add a different custom uh, dark mode uh, logo if you want. In the display mode section, uh, by default, it uses full screen display. So this keeps your users from using the Mac until your Mac has been completely set up with all the required configurations and apps. When you're testing, you might wanna set it to windowed mode so that you have access to other troubleshooting tools like the terminal. But for most use, I would set it to full screen. There's a special keyboard shortcut to uh, get an exit prompt. Uh, that's Command Shift KJD. It's right here in in the in the uh, right here on the web page. But if you want to look at what that exit password is, so once you click that that keyboard shortcut, a prompt will come. You have to enter the exit password. It's randomly generated. Uh, you can click this eyeball to to see what that exit password is. If you want to generate the new password, cycle through. Just click this generate new password. Click that as many times as you want. All right, let's take a look at customizing uh, the install screen. Take a look at how cool this is. As I click dark mode, for example, it changes what the preview looks like to show what your users would see in dark mode. I'm gonna click back to light mode. I'm gonna click customize. And as I type in the header field, the preview updates. This is so cool. Click done. So you can modify what the install screen looks like. Next up, remember in the demo when I clicked that question mark in the lower left hand corner, that got me the help screen. You can customize the help screen as well. Change what the header is and what the body is. Cancel that. Uh, and again, I can display what the dark mode and light mode looks like. All right, and finally, the complete screen. I can enable and disable that with the toggle. But I think it's pretty cool to show the user what the next steps are. So I'm gonna turn that back on and watch as I customize this. So take a look at the preview before I add one more link. So look at how the screen looks. I'm gonna click add link and the preview window automatically updates. Enter in a title, description, uh, update the uh, icon, um, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna change my mind here and delete that that third link and click done. And that's it. That's the configuration for liftoff. I'm gonna save my changes here. And there's one more thing that I want to show. 
before I turn it back to Weldon. So I'm going to put away this automatically automatic device enrollment Mac. Take this Mac that I'm going to manually enroll. All right, so here I am at the enrollment page. I'm going to click Download Kanji. I'm going to click the item that just downloaded, the Kanji Enroll Mobile Config. Open that up. Open System Preferences. Open Profiles. Click Install. All right, I'm going to click Install again. Enter my admin password. You have to be an admin in order to enroll with any MDM solution. I can see the MDM profile appear. Some other profiles start appearing. And soon I should see liftoff launch. Again, a beautiful user experience, showing the user exactly what's happening with their Mac, what's being configured, what's being installed. This is great, but what happens if the network disappears? Liftoff prompts the user to join a different network. Again, if you have a dongle and an ethernet cable, that's fine, you can do that. I'm gonna join a different network. Great, now that I'm back on the network, liftoff can continue where it left off. So again, liftoff allows your users to succeed with that initial enrollment and configuration, no matter what. A perfect first day experience. As you can see, this has been built to allow any Mac admin to provide the perfect first day experience for any Mac user and get it right the first time. Back to you, Weldon. Thank you, Eric. It's so exciting to help Mac admins design and deliver an elegant onboarding in just minutes. And I believe that this will set a new benchmark for the first day experience of new team members. Thanks to everyone who joined us today from all of us at Kanji.